name is Josh Meshmuth, and I'm with Dory's Investigations Group out of Ohio. But we are about to investigate this place for a two-day lockdown with Eyes of Paranormal. My name is Brian Yuntz, and I'm the founder of DIG. Josh and I met because he called me to tell me about the haunting of this place. He showed me videos of the chandeliers moving by themselves. I also talked to his mom, and she told me everything else. She told me that uh, at times she was scared to death, and I did get calls from her at other times where she was just petrified and scared for her kids. But we investigated it enough to know that what she said is true. Here we are on the second floor where the infirmary was. When girls would be underage and they would get pregnant, they would come to an infirmary where they would get in trouble and go to the tower, which is above us. And reports are there was one girl got thrown down the stairs where she passed away. During the times that we've investigated this house on the second floor, we've heard stuff fall down the steps. We've heard footsteps come up and down the steps. And we've gotten our devices to go off in the tower. All right, here is the tower part where we're going to walk up where there was reports of a lady walking up here checking on the girls that were pregnant. This is also the steps where the girl reportedly fell down. Some people will not even come up into this tower because they are terrified. This is what's going to be used to go through here. Whatever's behind this, we believe, holds the mystery of the haunting of this house. Could be wrong, but that's what we believe. It's always active in this location. It's always active in this corner. I don't, we're not sure exactly what this is all about, but you get a doorway that leads to, it's like a little cubby hole, but who knows what it originally was built for? Just discovered these jars when we was down here one time. It's old mason jars. This is old pickles. Some of this stuff is so deteriorated that we don't even know what it is. It's called a this. Focus. All right. This is like powdery crap. I'm not sure what that's all about. But it's kind of creepy. You open this up, and at first you're like, "What the heck?" And who knows how long that these have been down here? But I guarantee it's probably at least 50 years old. What the heck is that? Um. The doorway that's behind Josh. It seems like a lot of times when we're down here, we see some kind of shadow that will cross through that area. And almost every time, somebody will see something in that area. So it's not a big basement, but it's definitely one of the most active places in this house. And Joseph R. Jackson is the one that built this house in 1865 to get away from the blight of slavery. Thomas Dunn was believed to die of a heart attack where he was taken to a funeral home where they did their viewing and also brought back to have his funeral. We think that it's very creepy because he's brought back here to have a funeral where this is his final resting place. Mr. Thomas and Mr. Dunn were both prominent citizens of Union City. They, they were well known and both of them lived in this house. So, you know, who knows if they're still here and why, but, um, but Mr. Jackson, he was a banker. Uh, he owned a lot of money. And one of the rumors is, is that he hid a large amount of money somewhere in this house. Is that true? We'll try to find out during that two-night lockdown. Also, Josh's mom uh, called me over here to tell me a story about a little girl that came to visit her one night. It was 3 o'clock in the morning and the doorbell rang. Crystal gets up to find out who it is and there's a little girl standing there. And she said, ma'am, you need to look up at the tower. There's a noose up there. And kind of baffled Crystal at the time, but she said she went out. And then when she went outside, the girl vanished, and she never did see that girl again. One night we investigated down here in the basement, Josh's mom had a camera upstairs. So we told her to let us know when anything happened, why she was up there. And while she was in the kitchen, something got tossed at her. That was the end of the investigation that night, because Crystal called us up, said something was tossed at her in the kitchen, and she wasn't going to do it anymore. Inside the chandeliers in the restroom, Crystal noticed this, like, gooey red plasma stuff inside of the like it goes up like this the base of the light and inside she could see like a red when the light was turned on and when they looked inside there it was like a that icky gooey 
plasma type stuff inside there. Not sure exactly what that was, but there is video showing it, uh, but we're really not quite sure what it was.